Hi everyone, welcome back to I Like Learning Korean. Uh, in today's lesson, we will continue learning how to explain what we're doing now by including objects in the sentence. So we have the same question, 지금 뭐해요? And then the answer, if we want to answer I'm eating bread, then I is the subject, bread is the object. So how do we include the object bread? We say 빵을 먹어요. Or if you want to say, I am buying apples, we say 사과를 사요. Look at this in some more detail. 지금 뭐해요? Doing now, I am eating a meal. 밥을 먹어요. Here we see the 을 and the 를 uh, object marker. So another example. 친구를 만나요. I am meeting a so this 을, 을 particle is used after noun to mark it as the object. If the noun ends with a consonant, we add 을. If the noun ends with a vowel, we add 를. So 방, 방 means bread, and it ends with a consonant, the 은 consonant. So we add 을. It becomes 빵을. So the consonant carries over to the 을, 방, 을. 물 means water, ends with a consonant, the 을 consonant. So we add 을 and it becomes 물을. 물을. Check means book, ends with the consonant 크. So we add 을. 책을. Pen is the noun pen, ends with 은. So we add 을. 펜을. 달걀 means egg. Ends with the consonant 을, so we add 을. 달걀을. Alright, so here we see these examples. We have 방을, 물을, 달걀을, 책을, 펜을. So when we add 을, it makes the noun into the object of the sentence. Alright, 사과 means apple, but this ends with a vowel, the a vowel, so we add 을. 사과를 치즈 means cheese ends with the 으 vowel so we add 를 치즈를 우유 is milk ends with the u vowel 우유를 tomato uh, ends with the o vowel so what we add? we add 를 토마토를 Orangey means orange, ends with I, so we add 를. Orange 를. Okay, so here are the nouns that we looked at, so you can memorize them at home, and you can practice whether to add 을 or 를, 사과 를, 토마토 를, 오렌지 를, 치즈 를, 우유 를. Alright, so the sentence order in Korean is a bit different to English. In English, we say I, subject, eat, verb, bread object. In Korean, we say, we start with the subject, 나, 는. 는 is the subject marker, so 는 says the subject of the sentence is 나, which is I. And then we have the object, 방 is bread, so 방, 을, we have the object marker, and then we have the verb. 먹어요 is the present tense, polite form of 먹다, to eat. Okay, so uh, let's look at some examples. 빵을 사요. 책을 사요. 달걀을 사요. 빵을 사요. 물을 사요. Okay, so you understand what these sentences mean, right? 빵을 사요. I am buying bread. Okay, what about the verb to eat or the verb to drink? 먹다 or 마시다. 사과를 먹어요. 토마토를 먹어요. 치즈를 먹어요. 오렌지를 먹어요. 우유를 마셔요. Okay, so 우유를 마셔요 means I am drinking milk or I drink milk, right? If someone says, oh, do you like milk? You can say, oh, yes, I drink milk. 우유를 마셔요. Alright, let's have some time to practice. Mm, so tissue is huge, so we would say 휴지를 사요. I am buying tissues or I buy tissues. 
eggs is keran or talgal. There's two words for eggs. So we say keranul sayo. I am buying eggs. Rice, uh, uncooked rice is sal. Cooked rice is pop. Sal을 사요. So if you say I'm buying rice, you'd say 쌀을 사요. If you're saying I'm eating rice, then you would say 밥을 먹어요. Okay, bread is 빵. 빵을 사요. I'm buying bread. Ice cream ends with a consonant, the m consonant. So we would add 을, not 를. So it becomes ice creamer. Mm, ice cream er. chocolate also ends with a consonant in fact the s the s consonant so we add er and the s carries over to the er and we pronounce it chocolate chocolate okay uyu milk uh, ends with a con with a vowel so we say uyu mur water ends with a consonant so we say mur Juice, everyone, are you practicing at home? Juice ends with a vowel, so we say. Juice. Nokcha, green tea. Uh, nokcha ends with a vowel, so if we want to make nokcha the object of the sentence, then we say. Nokcha. Okay, so let's make these into sentences. If you want to say, I drink coffee, then copy, do you add ul or ul? That's right, you add ul. I study Korean. Hanguko is Korean, Korean language. So O ends with A. That's right, a vowel. So we add R. Hanguko를 공부해요. Television, television ends with a consonant. Television을 봐요. Pop, rice, we add R. 밥을 먹어요. Chingu, friend. Uh, chingu ends with a vowel, so we add. R. 친구를 만나요. Check means book. So check ends with a consonant, so we add. R. 책을 읽어요. I am reading a book. Nore is song. Nore ends with a vowel, so we add. R. 노래를 해요. Kabang is bag. Ends with a consonant, we add ul, becomes 가방을 사요. Bag. So, 지금 뭐해요? What are you doing now? And so, what is this person doing? This person is reading a book. How do we say that? 책을 읽어요. 지금 뭐해요? Uh, this person is meeting a friend. 친구를 만나요. 지금 뭐해요? Mm, this person is watching television. So do you remember how to say, I am watching television? 텔레비전을 봐요. 지금 뭐해요? 커피를 마셔요. So, uh, if we want, so in example one, we have the word check and the verb 읽다. So book and read. So how do we make a sentence? 책을 읽어요. We have to add ul because check is uh, the object, right? It's not the, the book that's reading. The subject is me, right? I'm reading book. So we need to add the object marker to book. Check ul, ilgoyo. And we have to conjugate ilta, the verb, into the present tense. So example two, yonghwa is movie, boda is watch. So how do we make a sentence? Everyone, you can pause the video and try it first. The answer is... 영화를 봐요. 운동, exercise, 하다, to do. So I am exercising, we would say. 운동을 해요. Of course, in Korean, sometimes we drop the ul marker if the object of the sentence is obvious, and then we would just say 운동해요. Okay, some more examples. 녹차, green tea, 마시다, to drink. So how do we make a sentence? 녹차를 마셔요. 친구, friend, 만나다, to meet. How do we make this sentence? 친구를 만나요. Great, and now we have 시계 is watch and 사다 is buy. 시계를 사요. I am buying a watch. 
Great. So today we learned, uh, yeah, how to say what we're doing now using the object marker "을" or "를". 지금 뭐해요? 빵을 먹어요. I am eating bread. 사과를 사요. I am buying apples. Everyone, thanks for joining us today. You can get more information in the description below. If you're interested in Korean lessons, then make sure to sign up using the application form. See you next time.